yeah, so we're into episode 5 of this marathon run where I try and get the 15 hour achievement on, on a normal map under marathon settings. Um, this is this is the seed that we eventually went with. Um, the I wanted to come back here and talk about not that bit of the pollution, but this bit of the pollution, because it informs some of the theory crafting decisions that that I think I think we're kind of going with. Um, but basically, I notice that none of these evolution numbers change when we go between default and marathon. So, so time evolution, we expected to get a bit more of that anyway, because everything's slower. But 15 hours is not very much of that, which is fine. Um, destroy factor, none of these none of these death world bases are particularly big. They're, yeah, they're not death world sized, so pushing bases is fine. The pollution factor is the one that's really interesting because if we go to marathon, um, it's still it's still the same pollution rating, um, and we have to do expensive recipes, four times price multiplier on research, which means that we're putting for the same level of advancement to get to get the the standard quotes standard speed run silo done we're looking at about eight times as much pollution now if we look at death world um this number is 12 i mean it bumps up the time factor as well but it bumps up the going from default to death world increases the pollution component of evolution by like a third but then i mean you've got a lot more nest kills to worry about as well then uh, the point being going from default to marathon the evolution contribution from pollution effectively jumps by about eight. So, so some pollution mitigation tech, I think, needs to be added to the plan. And we kind of did that already. Let's let's go back into. Oh, and I guess the other thing to talk about here is is that all the the expansion details are also the same. So, expansion ends up more of a thing in marathon simply because all of these timers are still just, you know, you're there for longer, you know, marathon. Um, you're, you're more likely to be taking expansions, and so one of the things I'm thinking about is pushing bases to manage expansions rather than just pollution. Like, this, this base definitely needs to go, but the thing I've also just noticed from this preview is if we go and push this base, then, like, these ones are already gone. All of this area here is then free of biters which means they're then expanding into this space rather than from the space potentially expanding really close to where we've built all our stuff um but that that's a thing to worry about later the most thing is just like thinking about this pollution thing um so where we wanna, uh, yeah this is this is where we are at the end of uh, at the end of episode four because it's the beginning of episode five we've got you know a little bit less than 11 hours left because it took a while to get the blue science online um but yeah there were yeah all these efficiency modules that i was building um because the thing that struck me was the, the like the other the other super common especially marathon death world is going and getting nuclear power and just completely cleaning up your power grid not not emitting any of that pollution from power grid and i realized actually for like this is kind of a normal sized base in terms of manufacturing like the okay so it's more stuff over here as well but most of most of the stuff is mining and smelting and then once it gets into the cogs and chips assemblers we're back down to kind of normal amounts of stuff because it's these expense these recipes that are expensive. So I think I'm just going to straight up skip anything to do with a clean power grid and instead make a bunch of efficiency modules and just efficiency module the mining because that's the biggest component of stuff that's an issue. I mean, other than the fact that the stuff isn't running. Um, and yeah, that's going to be the entire pollution mitigation strategy. I think we've got to do something about this yeah okay so yeah here's a prop yeah so we're getting we definitely needed i i did build the speed mods didn't i i did okay so yeah so first in terms of the large plan yeah it's number one ignore largely ignore pollution get get a map with a lot of trees um get get some efficiency modules put them in the miners and we're not going to be efficiency moduling every miner and we're only going to be putting it in the, f the first two efficiency modules on each miners um it just did not put quite so much pollution on the map 
And yeah, do that. Get get blue sites running slowly. Cache a bunch of stuff in preparation for purple and yellow sites. The thing is, blue sites isn't running slowly because we need sulfur. And I think I have got yeah, I've got circuit network. Okay, so we're going straight into circuit networking stuff, which is a thing I'm going to be a little sad about. But how we're going to manage this this disaster? Is we're gonna this is the sulfur belt, it's not gonna have anything on it other than sulfur. But we're going to have this, and then this guy is only going to yeah, only gonna put sulfur in the box if there's less than 20. We don't want this to be a big stockpile, but we then want this belt to stop if we've got less than 10 sulfur uh only yeah other way around if we've got more than 10 sulfur in this box which currently has no sulfur then let this belt flow which will let plastic get into the red chips if we don't have that sulfur then all this gas will back up i mean to be fair these guys will will bank plastic inside anyway but then these guys will be able to make sulfur and we'll get sulfur over to the blue science which is yeah currently still struggling for a lot of stuff um it also doesn't help did i how many of these do i make yeah i reviewed my numbers and decided i did want more of this but also can't really afford more of it yet and yeah then then other things like this this red circuit buffer is great leading into things like making rubber ports and logibot stuff which i don't have yet and so until then yeah just keep making this stuff do i want more prod mods i kind of want more prod mods and we've got to go put these in some stuff as well yeah we've got to go we've got to go visit some outposts um the the speed mods and pump jacks will help that a bit oh yeah then there were other things yeah i realize this is actually set up wrong the blue science doesn't want to go in there at all the blue science wants to go in here and also be buffered, but that's not a thing we can... Uh, which also means I need to move the prod mods down to the other side of the labs, because these labs... So we just lost some productivity bonuses there, but whatever. Um, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, we've got to have these labs down here moduled, because these ones are now the ones that are next to yeah the, these are the ones that are going to be getting the blue science yeah this 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 we're done with military science now i think that like this is the pattern of i'll get blue science in here and eventually get that yeah eventually have figure out some other plan for purple and science, yellow as well uh that doesn't work here because we we're not planning on moving these labs like we are in a larger one um a couple of other things that i realized uh yeah so these are all these efficiency modules the plan for today is we need we want this oil and um, we need to go an efficiency module all the efficiency modules i think are going to go over here because we're polluting like these trees are doing a lot of work but i would like them to have to do less work and also just put less pollution on the map because i don't know what evo we are but we're you know we're working through that this is all doing what it needs to and um, these oh these guys are full yeah yeah definitely one of the things is to start buffering the steel at basically here in the base rather than the outpost especially if those especially if those smelters are going to finish so this will this will yeah this will bring all this back to the base i mean also then looked at this thing and went like this is why did i do this this is a terrible idea that's not what i wanted um I mean, it was kind of what I wanted, but it was just in, a, in an ugly way that made me feel bad. What we're going to do instead is... That one's going to prioritize to the right and head back into the same place it was. And then this one's going to go... this. So this is just like a much cleaner way of setting this up. And also, because I wanted... Are these guys... F well, not yet. I'm going to need more there, aren't I? Um... Yeah, don't 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 be doing that. I don't need to do that. I should also just like straighten maul those myself. Um, yeah, because I wanted cogs boxed somewhere. Now we've got 
yeah, we've now got cogs from the outpost being prioritized into the engines build. Um, we've got box cogs in boxes that I can use to handcraft stuff. And then the mall cogs, the old mall cogs, are going to fill everything up if we need to. And yeah, we've got we've already got the stuff working, so that's that's continuing nicely. These guys, I think I want a larger buffer here, but I don't really know um, how much of a buffer I want. Have not thought about that that much. Uh, plates, really. Okay. Um, yeah, we, we're going to need a lot of these. So I don't really mind having a, just a vast buffer. Uh, yeah, because I'm making those, those. I don't even make those yet. Cue the thing. There we go. Okay, so that's all of that going. Um, there was, what was, yeah, there was other stuff I was setting up, wasn't there? I wanted, I don't want all this plate, but I do want, am I going to do the, this is, this is also stopped, yeah. Sigh, the, yeah, most of the plan is get, yeah, so this, this sulfur is going to back up to this box, then this plastic is going to kick off, and then I'm still going to turn most of it into modules, but I think I can get the oil processing stuff out by then. Yeah, the plan is, it's like, the oil processing is going to be the other way that we get a bunch more petrochem out of the stuff. That's going to be an important part of the plan. Um, I do want red, more red circuits, but I also can't afford them yet, and then, can I make, then I also need one of those and a bunch of these, yeah, because we've nearly got, yeah, in fact, here, if we actually had enough stuff for this, we've got all the things we need to make landmines, which is going to be, I need a couple more of those, handcrafting sodas, cool, um, yeah, we've got landmines now, we're going to start making those, um, these ones out here, actually, these ones can go here, and then I need a fast fastener soda here. And then, yeah, make it landmines. I, this is, this belt needs steel on it, so I actually need another one of these. Um, fortunately, I've got, I've got a place that I'm now putting steel, which is, yeah, this, this, this steel buffer here is, yeah, let's just make that many landmines. It's, and I've got iron, I don't really need iron in my infantry, so you're going to need more later, but we're going to do that. And so hopefully, um, let's also give these guys one prod mod. Yeah, efficiency modules. Um, refineries are getting efficiency modules? Yes. I'm almost at the point of needing um, only the first two, actually. I'm nearly ready to set up automated oil, yeah, advanced oil processing, but I do want to get over to the other outpost first and just get all these miners onto their their more efficient setup but just yeah just just get these efficiency miners efficiency modules into the miners um yeah the other the other tech i was thinking about is mining productivity too but i was thinking about the math and i don't think this pays off in time to be worthwhile like it pays off by your second rocket I'm not making a second rocket. So, bots, 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 bot speed, nope, logistics robot, bot speed one, bot speed two, rocket fuel, pretty normal, pretty normal stuff there. Um, do I, I think I still, yeah, I still want, I still want to be making more, I've got a ton of this stuff. I was going to handcraft all these flamethrowers as well, weren't I? I don't need to worry about that yet, but I do want to take... Yeah, just a bunch of this stuff. Do I have 10 prod mods? Uh, I will need more prod mods than that. And I'm also aware that I'm not at the moment getting a whole lot of plastic through to the blue chips. Most of it's just getting turned into, well, into the blue science. Most of it's just getting turned into, into modules, which I'm kind of okay with because it's all still... Yeah, it's all still useful stuff. I need to clear up the uh, that, that copper situation is also, and then also that copper situation, and then this iron situation. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Um. 
Yeah, because the other thing that I'm more acutely aware of is there are very few places that I'm actually defending at the moment. So part of this is... I want Prodmons in the green... Oh, luckily to drive through that power line without breaking anything, sure. Um, I want prod mods in the cogs but also mostly the green chips because those things on expensive mode are super expensive so we're just going to get free stuff i want free stuff give me the free things i put the free things in the buffer back at the main base you'll be fine um how many do i have seven okay um the next seven prod mods can also just go in yeah the belt will get me out of the way of that thing um these three so they're almost all modules. Um, this, yeah, that's sure, whatever. And then these efficiency modules, all of those guys are running again. I was going to set this up again. I was like, okay, I'll do that after efficiency moduling things. Yeah. These, this is going to, we're not going to put the third efficiency module in any of these, but all these ones that are running, the first two efficiency modules will take 40% of the pollution. I don't think you'd be good you got the third one yeah this these will take 40 percent of the pollution out of what these mining drills are spitting out which is hopefully a good move for dealing with evolution yeah so so without this 10 pollution per minute with the modules for pollution per minute. The, it also saves power grid, but that's not a huge deal for these mining drills. It's a bigger deal for the refineries, which is why the refineries also got those things. And, and we are, like, our power grid is still a giant source of pollution because we're just, we just got coal boilers. Um, I don't want the third one. Yeah, the third one, the different, yeah. The, the first two take away three pollution a minute each. Um, you hit the limit of 80%, and so the third one only takes away two, two pollution. And in, in something like a Death World Marathon, where you're really worried about it, yeah, that makes that makes sense. We'll do we'll do all of that. I'm not even going to make enough efficiency modules to make... Actually, the other thing I did want to do here, because this is one of the places we, we are just not defended, and probably should be, um, is have at least some kind of turret coverage here, just in case. And I have enough... I have enough, I would have, yeah, enough bullets for what I regard, maybe five turrets? Yeah, these guys are not going to get very many bullets. Uh, but also, you know, maybe, haven't actually checked on evolution in a while. Maybe we're close to big biters, maybe not. But this is also going to take, oh, you've, one of you got three, three modules. I don't want any of the, yeah, they're, they're, they're just better spent. And these ones could get some as well, except these are the ones that might back up. And I would. There's also other mining that I would also just like to reduce the impact of, specifically all of this stuff over here, which is also pulling, you know, belts of stuff out of the ground. And then also notice that, yeah, this thing is unhappy there, wants to be there, doesn't make a big deal. Um, yeah, these, these efficiency modules will pay off. I think I figured out it was. What is that? Um, yeah, fine. Um, after about 40 minutes, so even by the end of an episode, I've got, I'm putting l less pollution on the map than I would have, yeah, I've, I will have, by the end of the episode, I will, will have put less pollution on the map, oh wait, there was another thing I needed to build, um, and I can't go this way, than if I had not built the module, so that's, that's fine. Um, we are kicking through the tech, I think also that's, yeah, Blue science not ratioed to the other sciences at all, and kind of doesn't need to be, because the plan is more or less to... Yeah, this, this, this thing's going back here as well. Um, one one of these, cool. But I've got more of them over here. Yeah, this is... Yeah, more, cool. Um, the blue science kind of doesn't have to keep up with... I think I'm just going to leave this thing through here now, aren't I? Um, yeah doesn't have to keep up with the other with the other kinds of science because like it's just gonna buffer even though we haven't actually put in the buffer yet that's a thing that I need to do um, but yeah I'm, I'm progressing towards bots I'm in actually no position to be able to do anything super useful with bots yet I um, need to just connect a bunch more resources and yeah I, I actually want to be buffering plastic and I don't have any kind of plastic buffer at the moment and wanted one 
Um, this this copper situation is also... I think I wanted to buffer this as well, didn't I? Like, actually buffer copper ore. Because one of the things I'm wondering about, once I start getting enough plastic to hit that properly, is do I... Does it not just... Is that nearly full? Three of them are full? One of them is not? Yeah. Not just... How many miners is this? 26, yeah, and some, are, some of them are dead. So this is already less than one belt. But also, if this, if I just run this down normally, then I just run out of iron ore and I've got to outpost it from somewhere else, which is sad. Um, whereas, what are the, yeah, things that I also wanted at the same time. I wanted these guys because, and then steel, sure. Um, yeah, if I, if I outpost, then I have to outpost other... I think that's all of those that they need at the moment. I think we were going to do something like... Something like this. Yeah, and then we've got a bunch more of those, which is nice. And then do I have... I've got four speed mods. I actually need... A lot more speed modules than that. If I'm going to be going to this other... Yeah, okay, fine. I need, I'm going to need more speed modules if I'm going to that other oil outpost to put more of that on it. Um, and I think that is, is that going to be next? Yeah, 120. Yeah, I did have, you know, whatever. Um, 120 landmines is not a whole lot, but I don't think I'm doing anything with it. I think, oh yeah, I needed, um, I needed the steel to continue with the flamethrower's plan. How many of these do I get? I've got a lot of engines for this. Okay. Um, and then I've also got a bunch of other stuff that I don't care about. Um, oh, that's that's more steel than I needed. Okay. I think I'm happy having a lot of steel. Um, cogs and pipes. And then enough other pipes. And I've also only got 152 of these things. Um, can I... Uh, I was going to say just, but actually not quite. Um, these guys here will have to go underground if I'm going to be doing holes here, which it looks like I am. They don't need to go super fast. Um, but this is... Yeah, you just, make, just make me some of those. Um, and I guess we also move this other copper stuff because it's all building up again because I don't have the plastic yet. Ooh... Actually, this was the only one that was... Yeah, that plastic buffer is completely full now. Interesting. Plastic buffer, copper buffer. Um, and I also don't have the blue science buffer running yet, but that doesn't matter until I'm out of blue science text to, to do. At the moment, we've just got... Yeah. That's all kind of fine. Okay. Um, where do I want to put these efficiency modules? Am I... I'm not really mining any of that not really mining any of that stuff because it's waiting on needing I'm not mining any of this stuff either okay um so what mines I must be I must be mining coal here at a decent rate because power grid right I mean I'm still yeah even even only some of these are working um okay sure I mean this is still taking this is still taking some amount of stuff off the map. Um, and I want to be buffering more of... Okay. So those those are all my efficiency modules that I've got doing whatever work they can. Can I... No, I needed, I needed more stuff for that. And then, yeah, I wanted more of this stone. Because I'm going to continue to need more of that stone. Um, yeah. Did it even have... I've got normal inserters. Um, bots, bots can do this in a bit. We're going to have bots eventually. We're quite close to to having the tech to just go and build the bots, but we're also not not in any position to actually do anything with them. Um, six guns. Do we need more bullets? I probably. What else do I actually want? I want more tanks. 
yeah, so we'll kind of we'll kind of run through the base. We'll figure out what else I want to be making. More tanks, a couple of pumps. Yeah, a couple of pumps, a couple of backup cars. Let's get rid of this heavy armor and these burner miners because we don't need that anyway. This deconstruction planet, whatever. Um, so we got tanks. We then need cogs, which we're now boxing and pipes which are going to be over here and then we can make you know a bunch more flamethrower turrets which is cool and is that all the engines i've got a couple of engines left and then i'm actually out of steel okay and then the other thing i wanted was actually wall if we're going to do all this flamethrower turret stuff and then i probably have kind of hope that I have enough power poles and then we can have you know we can get another speed module cool uh car did I put did I leave the car somewhere did I pick the car up did I oh yeah I've got my one car and then my other two backup cars that are yeah and then I don't know how many of these we're gonna need but yeah we now got we've got 14 pump jacks are actually the thing I need to build. How many of these have I got? Seven? Okay, so this is actually... That's actually the correct number of speed modules, and then I need more steel. Um, in that case, you can go back to these. Because there's not a whole lot that I actually want speed modules for at the moment. Um, then four, five, six, seven, and then how many of these things can I have? And then I've got engines for like another three. You have engines, yeah. Uh, and then gears. So that's all the engines I've got down to that last engine. Um, these guys are, yeah, I just need to, I now need to get more of this in. And so we're going to go outposting. I think I, is this... Is this the last of the things I wanted to set up before... I mean, this base... Oh, this this guy's an expansion here, so they're already starting to expand in here in the way that I mentioned. This space is going to have to go at some point, mostly for expansion management. Everything else looks like it's pretty fine. This this already looks like it's clearer. Like, it's already... It already looks like reducing all that mining pollution by 40% is doing things that it needs to. Um, how am I getting... The thing is, taking this oil, I kind of need to decide if I want this coal, because if I'm not taking this coal, then I can just wall this up and not have to push this base, which is going to be cool, which is, I think, what I'm doing. Do I need this? Because I think I might also need more coal. I think that's going to be... For the amount of plastic I need, that's probably going to be a thing. But I think we can just... Do we, yeah, I guess we just bring this back here, because I was thinking about taking this coal and running this oil pipe down and walling here so that anything else coming around the other side of this lake, I intercept. But also, that's not really a thing, and also I don't have landfill, so that's going to be a pain to try and take, so I don't think we bother with that at all. I think we just bring... Let's bring the oil back to in front of this position because this we will need to defend later. Um, when we... Yeah, let's also efficiency modules on the coal miners, because we're about to start doing... more... 40 is enough for 20 coal miners? Yeah, this, this belt over here is not going to be running yet, but it will as soon as we come back with all of this oil that we're supposed to, supposedly bringing. Is that true? That's actually not true at all, isn't it? I have over... I have missed a couple of things. So that's... that's fine. The thing I should have done that I have not yet done, which is actually a big deal, and I have... I have all the things I need for it, is to turn all of this into... Yeah, I need to turn all of this into advanced oil processing. Because this will be the much better use of the stuff that we're bringing in. And so I've already, yeah, I've got some of the water set up. This will get us significantly more useful stuff. 
out of the small amount of crude oil that we have. And it's also entirely the plan. Uh, one. Yeah, so that's... Yeah, so we're now, we're now running this a whole lot better. Um, most of the time, in a lot of other situations, it's pretty common to run a decent amount of power grid in speedruns from solid fuel from light oil, but I don't think I'm doing nearly as much of that as normal in this case. Like, some of that will happen, but I think I'm mostly cracking this down at this point because I just need a lot of gas to do all the plastic things that I want. So we're going to connect this back up. And I think I want more plastic than that as well. Um, I mean, the okay, so the like the, the air quotes plan is to be buffering a lot of plastic to eventually unload into LDS. Um, and prior to... Yeah, some of these guys are running. And it's just that that's, yeah, just, we're just not getting that much stuff out, which is always going to be how bad this situation is. Okay, we're going to throw in some, kind of some cracking, but not really a whole lot of cracking. Where is the stuff all going to line up? So water can be here. Light oil can be in that line. So if I've got... I'm doing this kind of cracking pattern that I've done a couple of times before. Yeah, where's where's all these pipes? Sorry, actually, I might need to get... Oh, that's in the wrong place, isn't it? It is. It needs to be further forwards. Cool. Uh, actually, just move it forward like that. Yeah, because I need... Another of these pipes down here so we can have this, and then another pipe down here that can do that. Uh, these things need to exist. Then this pattern is the one that I'm building probably quite a lot of because, as mentioned, I am going to be cracking almost all of this gas at this point. Um, yeah, cracking, cracking all, of the, almost all of this petrogem into gas at this point. Um, we we need. We need all of the gas we can get. Where is yes, that's I mean it's slightly off, but it's fine. Um yeah, we're not we're not even bothering to make solid fuel or anything like that at this point. Um all of these guys are connected up. Kind of. Okay, so all of that's running. They don't all have their recipes set. Um these guys don't have all of their water connections. Is that is that everything? Products finished eight. Products finished zero because you don't have this connection. Uh, you're missing that connection, and I think that's all of them. I think. Okay, and then the gas is here. And I didn't even know if there's... I mean, this is going to be certainly more cracking than we need at the moment because we're not even producing that much stuff because we don't have all the light oil we need. Um, that being said... We don't have all the light oil? We don't have all the crude oil we need. That being said, these guys are running again, which is nice. And this means the coal is going to be moving, or at least half a belt of coal is going to be moving through here. Um, yeah, this is this is looking a whole lot better. Partly that's unbuffering stuff that was previously buffered. 45 is enough for 20 miners. Am I just going to... It's kind of in the opposite direction, but yeah, we're going to take... We're going to take these 50 miners. Um, that kind of forest is all just kind of in the way, isn't it? Uh, yeah, because I wanted to go over to the copper mine to the west. 
but I have to go a long way around this forest, which I think I'm probably fine with, because... Because all of that's just doing good pollution absorption work. I probably should have cut through where I put the, um, the, the sort of secondary power line before, but, you know, sure. Yeah, this is also not particularly well defended at all. Um, you guys are probably... Like, you're running, and you're the ones that are going to be running for a while. And, yeah, this will... I also don't really want to be moduling miners that are going to run out midway through the run, but none of these are. Probably. Uh, that one, yeah, okay, this, uh, that one will, whatever. Um, we, we will have to do some maintenance on that later, but it's probably still fine. Okay. And we've even got through, I mean, we've, we're onto robotics. We're onto robotics tech where we've finished our flamethrower handcrafting, which was unexpected. That means we've also crafted all the pump jacks we needed as well. And now I'm down to wondering whether or not I have enough pipes. I think I need more pipes. Um, but that's fine because they're over here. Yeah, give me, give me these pipes, give me these pipes. This will be enough pipe. And I've got tanks, and I've got circuit condition things. Um, ammunition might be a thing I should make that I'm not making. Okay, um, that's, that's a thing we're going to solve with handcrafting. It's fine. Okay. So we're making modules, we've got a bunch of modules on the map doing things they needed with, yeah, grenade production has run down, um, I was going to be buffering, yeah, I was going to do an ore buffer for copper as well, but I don't think we need to worry about that until we're seriously mining it, because uh, we're still just not, although, I mean, this would also be a good time to get the ore into the buffer, but never mind. Um, yeah, we're still just going to go and get, it's 184... I don't even know if 184 power poles is going to get me where I need to go. So let's just change my mind about that as well, and feel bad about all of that. Uh, but I have at least automated power poles, so I can just pick them up again. Yeah, here's... yeah, here's, here's another 200 power poles. Yeah, fine, cool. So that steel buffer is doing things. Plastic is at least... Yeah, it's, it's still just a mess. I still just need to bring more stuff back. That's going to be the only way that works. Um, and then I did want to... Yeah, taking power from here is a plan I like because I was thinking about trying to figure out how to flamethrower defend this as well, which means this is a point that... I will have to have the, the oil pipe sort of... Yeah, defended with reference to that position, or at least arranged with relevance to that position, because that's where we want to take the oil. Um, yeah, we're going this way, uh, we're going through these trees. I hope I have a radar after all of this as well. It'll be a bit of a shame if I don't have a radar. Um, and then, yeah, this is, um, I mean, this is... On one hand, this is okay. On the another hand, this is kind of unfortunate. I'm going to have to take out a lot of these trees. Not just here, but also over here. If I'm doing flamethrower defense stuff, because I don't want to burn this forest down. Um, so let's actually get this online first. Uh, yeah... That's that's all seven, and there were only seven, weren't there? Yeah, so on the upside, all of this, all of these trees mean that I'm quite unlikely to be annoying any biters with this pollution. Um, go to the there, and then we can have... Because pump tracks are... I mean, pump tracks are kind of polluting, especially when you've got these speed beacons speed modules in them. 
Hal, and then I missed one, fine. And then while we're setting all of this up, where can... I can have tanks... Yeah, so that's going to be... And then I guess we do this this double pump thing, which is kind of one of my ways of attempting to manage pressure when I don't have a lot of that. But that's mostly like four tanks there because we've got some other stuff to set up at the same time. Like where... Okay, radar. Radar's important. And these... Are these ones expansions? I mean, this is... Okay, this is not a... A super huge base. It's only like seven spawners, but they are medium worms, and I do have landmines, but I'd also just not rather worry about it. Um, I think, yeah, this is, if I'm just saying these are, if these are the positions I want to hold, I am less interested at all in actually pushing past this, because for purposes of this speed yeah, calling it a speedrun. For purposes of what I'm doing here, there's nothing else over here I want. Like, I'd like these guys to not be here, but there's no there's no other material other than this oil, which is actually not very big, um, that makes me want to even be over here at all. So we're going to have... Yeah, we're going to attempt to have a decent amount of coverage here. Do I need one probably do need here, yeah, because there's that base to the south as well. One of the other nice things that that I was enjoying about possibly having this base is that if I was mining a lot here, this would attract a lot of attention, and so hopefully I could use the fact that that was pulling all of the attention to... Yeah, all of those trees are in the way. Um, okay. Uh, I'm just going to have to... I'm going to put my power poles back later after just getting rid of all of these trees. Um, it'll be fine. There we go, we're back online. Because uh, there's still some down here. And these guys are injured. Okay, I'm probably going to s need to reconnect that, apparently. Apparently it's busted. Where is it? Oh, it's over. This, this one is not the right spot. And then these two, these two are both not in the right spot. Okay. Um. Yeah. So if we have, yeah, we need to get some of these trees out of the way just so we have a fire break, so we don't burn down this nice defensive forest. I don't think I'm going to annoy this base. I think there's enough trees, and then this mining is kind of in the wrong section. So okay, yeah. I think we're, I'm talking myself into. How far do we need to go? About to where those rocks are. Yeah, we'll just we'll just have wall here. That's more wall than we need. Um, am I actually? I need to take up more trees than that as well. Okay, I mean I am at least I am at least collecting a lot of crude here. Um, I was wondering if today the goal would end up being get robots built, because the robots build itself is not really that tricky. Mostly it's waiting for... Mostly it's waiting for text to finish, and even with my slow blue science, we're kind of near that. Okay, so hopefully this is... Yeah, these... Th these turrets likely also mean that spitters won't be able to reach the flamethrowers, which is cool, because it means they just kind of party by the walls, attacking the walls, and the flamethrowers are just fine throwing flame at everyone. So... That's also still fine. Um, why are you not... Oh yeah, because you're um, next to an underground. So yeah, I'm probably I'm probably coming back to defend this later with bots, but this is not like I'm not planning on this being an outpost that needs a whole lot of attention. But I think the other thing we're going to do that we got guns for is we're just going to leave a bit of like if we do get flanked, we're going to have some guns that are 
of questionable value because we're... Actually, do I have radar cover, John? I do. What's evolution? 0.44. Yeah, so we got a while before bigs turn up, so these guns might be relevant. Um, and then we can just deal with the rest of this later. I haven't wasted any oil production there. Yeah, that's, that's an outpost. Let's at least wall in these rocks because... Because biters will still destroy the rocks. And then also I grenaded them a bit. So so that's fine. These... Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that as... That's far too much. I don't need that much coverage. Okay. Um. So let's do, I guess, a kind of normal... Yeah, let's, let's not have that one be mostly damaged. Um, let's do a kind of normal thing of having multiple... power connections out of this thing, because I think that is... yeah, that's linked. And then... like, I kind of want... I don't think that's going to be an issue. I don't see me getting attacked from this direction, and it's not a death world, so we don't have to worry quite so much about that. Um, why are you not... oh, because you're also this tree. Okay. Um, so we're back into places where we can build pipes with cars. And we finished handcrafting all those bullets. So that's nice. Um, yeah, we've got to go a bit further, because we can. One of the other things I'm thinking about is other places that I can put flamethrower pillboxes that will help defend my position that are kind of on the way of dragging this oil back to the base. And like I'm wondering about this lake here. Do I need I think I'm just planning on not polluting that space. Yeah, I think that's the plan. Like do I need do I need a flamethrower pillbox here? No, I'm planning on not polluting that space. Um this pollution is also nearly nearly angering that base, but Actually, there's a... That... Yeah, okay. We're actually going to go back and tidy up the last of those trees, because I'm kind of worried about it. I'd rather do... Yeah, we're, we, we've not defended for a lot. I think this is the first position where we've actually really worried about defense, and so we would rather not accidentally burn down all of this forest... And so we'll give up a couple of trees there. Yeah, I don't think I don't think those guys. These trees might burn. Those ones won't. I mean, there's not even there's not even it's a decent number of trees over there. Whatever. Okay. Um. Okay. So this is going to get more oil, but I don't think this is going to be all. It's certainly not all of the oil I need. I don't know if it's going to even be enough oil for the first of the, yeah, for, for the petrochem that I've built thus far, which is kind of first stage petrochem. Because we're going to need more of that as well. Um, what there's some... Oh, we already cut through the forest here. That's, that's nice. Okay, so let's have... Let's have a tank here. Because, other two. Because um, we know we are doing some kind of flamethrower defense here because we're expecting to defend that position but also don't have any other tools other than flamethrowers and landmines. And I could landmine defend that, I guess. Maybe landmine defense is better there because because I've got all the trees and I can just put landmines in the trees, maybe. Um, yeah, then we've got to go... Do I go across or do I go down? I kind of want to go through here or something, don't I? So we go down... Actually, let's just... Yeah, let's just... That's going to be annoying to get through the trees. Um, but also, I guess I am getting out... Yeah, we, we're getting out the way of the mining a little bit. So that's helpful. And then, yeah, this is... This is, this is good oil. Yeah, whatever. You guys did good work. I'm kind of in a hurry. I mean, that was... Okay, so this this tree here has to go. But there's also a power pole on the way that I'd rather not cut off. 
then yeah. Uh, we're just going to pump this in at the moment. In in other circumstances, like I think later on, if we're flamethrowing defense, this part of part of having pumps on both sides here, partly for pressure, partly also to be able to circuit condition this later to control the amount of oil I have here if I'm doing flamethrowing defenses there. But I'm also kind of not at the moment. And now we've got we've got oil in here, which means that this is full, which means all these guys are running, which is great. And we've got all the plastic we want. And we've got two minutes left in this hour, but this one did start like ten minutes late because we were like we did. It did take a while to get the blue science online. Um, do I have? I've got another hundred of these things. Okay, so let's get another two hundred of these things. Um, I'm close to the point. Actually, I, do, I definitely need. Oh no, this is going to be enough prod mods to. That's going to be enough prod mods to get my mining drills my, my mining drills i'm thinking about mining drills what i'm talking about is um robot frames it's going to be enough of those to get robot frames running um and then i think yeah you guys are all going to be running for the foreseeable future so let's give those there um the stone i wanted more of as well didn't i but not urgently um yeah i think i i think with bots almost here um, actually, with that plastic running, I should have more of these that need modules, right? And then... Okay, maybe not. Maybe not at all. Oh, I already gave them modules. Um, okay, yeah, quick trip over here. Put these other couple of hundred modules in... the miners that are mining copper. And then, like, I think I'm approaching the number of... Of efficiency miners that I care efficiency modules that I cared about having before just pivoting back to oh that's a that's a cliff okay it's fine does no damage I was worried about that being either a rock or a power pole yeah I think I'm getting close to the number of efficiency miners modules that I was bothering to make at all before pivoting back to just prod mods for purple science uh, these guys are all running. These guys are not yet running. Fascinating. Okay, so I mean, this this was going to step up later anyway. Yeah, okay. So I've now got spare efficiency modules. Which is interesting. Okay, um... Do I... I need... Yeah, I just need... Yeah, I've got... We are definitely expanding, expanding the mining. So I'm going to have the efficiency modules at least running for a bit. But yeah, we need to be up here. Because we need... We need some of these, and we need a bunch of those. Um, belts. I'm going to need some amount of belt. Uh, long head inserters we're going to need. We're going to do a fairly standard... Bots build. Do I have? I have. I have the prod mods that can go in the rest of the labs. Um, I'm not really using these labs yet, but you know, now now the labs are also fully prod modded. Um, yeah, because I was thinking about needing more blue science, and I just don't need it yet. While I'm thinking about it, though, uh, fast inserts. Okay, so we're, at this point, we're also just going to. We're just going to. Not there. Not there either. Let's put them here. Um, fast inserters and splitters are things that I have wanted a couple of times, not had when we got there, and then been annoyed by it. So we're just going to maul those now. It's time to maul these things. Uh, and let's get just like one stack of splitters and a couple of stacks of fast inserters. Okay. We got some of that stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure I still have steel. Uh, I need I need another chemical plant because we've got to do lubricant first and batteries. So I guess we go over to the petrochem to get that done. Um, can I? I can actually. Oh, this is hideous! Fantastic. Um, yeah, lubricant. And then. 
I need to get that through here somewhere, but that's probably fine. I'm not even... I am building red circuits up. Which means that... This wants instead a buffer like... This, or something like this. Okay, so now now surplus red, red chips we're just collecting. Yeah, this is also why I was thinking... Okay, that's... Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, lubricant I've got to get over here. Acid I've also got to figure out just where I'm making that. Oh, wait, actually, incorrect. Acid I'm making here. That bit's fine. Um, I've got to figure out where I'm making batteries and how I get that onto the belt with the steel, because that's how that always works out. Um, and the belt with the steel is actually here which is a little bit of a pain. Uh, I can't... I can't... I mean, in retrospect, the easier thing to put... To, to be, to, instead of instead of doing this weird thing, would have been to tear all of this up and just put these coils in a more sensible place. Um, if I've got copper here, and the steel is here, can I have... Can I have two things that make batteries here? Because these pipes can... Like, I've already got pipes here at this point. Um, and I don't really need this guy making assemblers. Right now, that is. Okay, so pipes there. Uh, yeah, let's have... We can still do it with these guys. Uh, let's have, like, I can have some in a box, and then others just going into the build, and I don't think I care about... It's got to go that way to be able to fit under here. Yeah, so that's, that's going to do that. And then if these guys are making batteries, which is still kind of awful because how do I get the acid in? Okay, so let's not let's not have them right there. Let's move them a little bit. Like how do I there's there isn't I haven't left space there. How am I getting the lubricant over? I guess I can take the lubricant around. Um Yeah, this acid can come this way. Yeah, I wonder if I'm going to end up more behind after figuring out how to make batteries. Um, can I... That's space for one. This one needs the inserters. I guess this radar isn't here. Yeah, if that radar is somewhere else, this works a little bit better. Yeah, that, that's fine, isn't it? That's not going to be any kind of problematic spaghetti that will make me feel bad about things later. Um, if this one moves, can this one go a little bit further? Yes, it can. Um, we probably still want to keep those things connected, though. Yeah, this is, this is, this is, this is quite normal. Okay, batteries. Um, batteries, and then... I need... Okay, you guys... Yeah, you guys can have that. And then I've also got to figure out how to get... Iron in. And also batteries out. And so I think what we're doing is we're going to have something like that. Because you guys don't need... You don't need a lot of iron. And that's even going on the right side. So... So, batteries. Batteries ending up on the, steel, on the belt with the steel, that's fine. Yeah, because the other thing about Marathon is we've just got ages to get everything done. 
and so builds builds like the rocket fuel and the drone frames that slowly build this stuff up are going to just take longer anyway and i'm going to be fine with it and yeah i guess let's do let's do the rest of the build and because i've got enough things for it yeah because we got it's going to start about here isn't it um three is going to be again more than i actually need not going to need three on engines for this, but we're going to do this anyway, because whatever. Um, like that. And then, yeah, then this can run over here, which is going to be fine. And yeah, we're going to we're gonna quickly set up the bots. Um, that's going to need to continue, but also fine. And then we're going to call an episode, and we will have achieved things, which is going to be nice. Uh, that's sure that'll still work because because you know we can still just do that okay and then this belt is going to end up looking like kind of a normal do i even want to do it that way let's let's actually because if i don't really need I don't need either of those unless I'm automating more flamethrower turrets. Um, this thing can run over here. And... Yeah, I do still need both of these, don't I? Bit of a shame. Um, okay, so this is going to go one higher up, I guess. Uh, this belt doesn't need to be here either, so I can actually just... Yeah, let's, let's connect the lubricant, because we're at least making all of those things now, and that's fine. I guess I'm... I guess I'm not extending blue science if I've got... I could extend blue science. Do I need to extend blue science? I think I'm going to extend blue science a bit, because... Um... No, we're not. We're just going to... We're just going to have it take longer. If I need to extend blue science later by moving all of these, then we will... But I, this still gives me a bit of space to expand the red chips if I need to as well. So that's also fine. Okay. And even even with the cracking, massively over cracking... Why am I so high on light oil? Ah, I'm high on light oil because with all of these guys running, I don't actually have enough cracking down here at the moment. So... Yeah, I, I think I wanted... Use the six. Yeah, I, I did want ten or maybe twelve of these guys. Um, I think we're going with ten on the grounds that that's how many I have. Um, so light ore is going to go there in kind of a similar plan. Uh, yeah. Not actually. Are we actually making? we making engines? Do I actually plug all that stuff in? Yes. So I am at least banking engines here. So I'm not making drone frames yet, but I'm making the engine. So that's nice. Uh, yeah, then this is going to do a kind of similar thing over here. And yeah. This, yeah, because I don't have any more. I can make two more. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, we go. We're gonna. We're gonna do more of this because because we've got a light oil backlog to work through. So that means we'll we'll chip through this light oil backlog. Um, I don't know if I might end up. Actually, the thing we're going to do is we're going to have a pump here because we're going to pump control that anyway. Can I have more pumps? No. Um, but for the moment, we just want to crack everything down to get more gas out. Do I actually have... Oh, yeah, okay. The other problem, air quotes problem, so that's going to be the first thing we look at next time, is we've got more gas than we need, which is one of the things... Yeah, this is all, this is all looking really good now. It, this, this air quotes gas problem... Why do we not have... Oh, because I got that in the wrong place again. Cool. Um, 
I did want to buffer plastic. So the, I think the first thing we're doing next time is going to be looking at how we're going to... Yeah, there's enough space here. This is fine. Yeah, how we're going to be buffering plastic. And this is going to be... Actually, one of these needs to go like a little bit further, doesn't it? Yeah, this is going to be drone frames. Um, we're gonna we're gonna get this done. We're gonna call this an episode. And pretend that everything is fine. Uh, do these here? Yeah, because these these this is gonna be the fairly normal thing of. This is going to be both the construction bots and also yeah indeed do i have i should probably have yeah so i'm even starting to bank red chips which is fantastic um because we've got bots now we can go and do bot things we can expand a bunch of stuff and from here we're in the position of kind of wanting to expand the various things we need and like defending things with bots and being out of, able to outpost with bots and stuff like that um, so pretty happy, pretty happy about that. We've got, we've got this bot frame stuff going. I can make robot ports over here. We've got another, another, yeah, I think, yeah, we are definitely, these are all of those that I wanted. And I think we can have one on speeds. And I think, yeah, we'll, we'll put, we'll find some other places to put these because we're about to expand the mining. Um, everything is... Mostly everything is okay, isn't it? This is... Is that... No, that was already there, wasn't it? These guys are... Annoyed, but fine. I'm not... I am kind of at risk of burning down this forest. Oh, no, wait. Because these, these are the gun... The, this is the gun coverage, yeah. Um, yeah. Not... I'm not going to get big attacks from that anyway, because there's going to be a lot of trees absorbing the pollution. The This is still fine. That's... I mean, empty, but is this even... So I'm building up crude, so that's fantastic. We've got the blue sides going kind of at the rate that, that I imagined it would. Um, let's quickly put in the buffer so we can say that all of that is nice and pleasantly done. Uh, here. And I don't have any blue sides to give it, so, so yeah, so that's... Actually, how is... Power grid is even stable, so that's nice. So, yeah, we're we're going to be using more of these labs because the rocket fuel is kind of a slow tech. We're going to do the same thing where we have a little build over there, but that also doesn't need to be as big. And, yeah, things, things looking kind of good. I think this ended up being another... It looks like this ended up being another 65-minute rather than 60-minute episode, but I think I'm okay with that. And we have got quite a lot done in a way that I'm pretty happy with. We've got... We've got an oil outpost, we've got bots, we've got cracking online, we've got advanced oil processing. It's now time to really... And we're, and we're a third of the way through? A bit over a third of the way through our timer. I think that, like, most... Most of the speedruns have... Only about half of the time... Most of the speedruns that use bots to one rocket have about half of the time of the speedrun after having unlocked bots but they have a plan. I have less of a plan at this point. Um, but, but yeah, bots, bots happened. Lots, lots of, lots of good things. Yeah, sure.